I also want to point out it is coming up on 10 o'clock and so uh, we normally don't uh, solo this late but it's a little bit overcast um, and he's just such a solid pilot he's really dialed in uh, his bump tolerance is already good we've been up midday yesterday did a 10 knot crosswind um, he was a little bit uneasy about it but greased it in nonetheless so I know he can handle uh, a little bit of bump so Matthew is getting ready to do his solo flight right here pulling back the aircraft we had to wait for some of the fog to clear out a little bit there's his daddy giving him some support and water before he goes up. Enjoy the ride. And notice he has his little buddy in the back, his support system right here. Yeah, he said this is his girlfriend, Sandy. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, Sandy. Hey, I didn't think we were supposed to take anybody up with us before or after we just solo. Yeah, it's just 100 pounds of sandbag. So hopefully, because I weigh right around 100, I want it to be the same weight. <laughs> so it feels like I'm there. but. Now, honestly, the performance difference uh, without a passenger in the back seat, especially on a 100 horsepower Revo, it uh, can be very, very different, different better, but we don't want different on solo. I think he's a little nervous. So this is Matthew on his first takeoff, solo flight. In his new Revo, look at him go. On June 25th, 2021, there goes Matthew on his first takeoff. <laughs> Looks like he's having fun. Nice descent rate. There's a little bit of a crosswind here today. Very nice. Very nice. Do it again. <laughs> nice. So nice. One more. Second ago, that's boy. That's <laughs> oh, my he's boy. A man. He's a man. You probably didn't he's hear him man. say that's my boy over me saying I taught him that. <laughs> nice job, man. I Dude. heard you say love. That's my love boy. That's awesome. Landing. Landing. Gorgeous. And here is Wes working with Peter who just got a RevX. They're doing a nice low flybys right here, as you can see. So a lot of activity here on the solo of Matthew today. He did terrific. Nice, Matthew. Wow. Very nice. Thank you. Thank that you was amazing. Yeah, and that's with the 100 pounds in the back. That was one of the best solos we've had in quite some time. So solid, so precise. I wish all of my students were 27 years old. <laughs> that is awesome. No, that was beautiful. Keeping the wheels up, trying to keep the wheels up. You actually did in your solo flight better than the last couple times that we flew together. I was asking you to hold those flares and you did for me today on your solo. That was it. That was picture perfect. In fact, we're going to use this in our next training DVD. <laughs> that was it. I loved it. So how does it feel? Good. Really good. Good training. Just focus on the training. You're a pilot. Yeah. Pilot. Student pilot. <laughs> we were there. wondering why you're going to do that wheelie for another 100 feet. <laughs> next time. <laughs> a little choppy up there. but. Yeah, okay. well, you just did your solo at 10 o'clock in the morning, which would be a pretty big no-no. It is a very nice day. Uh, winds are light, but still it's 10 a.m. This is the time that a lot of trike pilots put the aircraft away and here you are soloing and uh, I was uh, more confident with you soloing at 10 than I am some of my other students soloing <laughs> at 6 a.m. So I wasn't too worried. That was really nicely done. Like we thank solo you. any of our students at 6 a.m. Please. <laughs> Matthew, to that was amazing. Yeah. Thanks, amazing. Terrific.
Felt good. Little, little nervy of taking that first. <laughs> off, but once I went I, around, it I felt could good. see it. I could see it. And that's why I said, loosen up your fingers, take a deep breath. I can remember my first takeoff, and I'm going, what did I just do? <laughs> right. And yep. there's no turning back except to do it right. Right. So you're gonna take this home to where? North Dakota, Bismarck, North Dakota. And All you and your father there. are gonna be flying up there, aren't you? Yes, yeah. ma'am. That's so awesome. I'm in the hot seat now. Yeah, you are. The Next. pressure's on there, yes. Kevin. You gotta. They leave they in a 48 hard hours. To follow. They leave in 48 hours, and so the son has soloed. The father, not yet, super close. And uh, I'm sure either one of them can tell you it is a lot of work to go from zero to hero to where you're ready for solo in uh, in a 10 day uh, stretch. It's uh, quite a bit of work, and we've had some weather to work around. We've got rained out a bunch of evenings, so it's been mostly mornings only. So you've gotten a little bit shortchanged. You just didn't need the hours because you were. He was sandbagging for me, waiting for me to catch up. Wing fiasco. The wing fiasco. So yeah. this red wing is a loner wing. Um, we're uh, they'll have their wing back in about a, a week. But uh, this beautiful Revo is actually one of our factory refurbs. Has been completely gone through at the factory, and uh, this is one of the machines that was available. Um, several months ago that we had for sale. And so they scooped this up, custom painted. Uh, they've upgraded to the new Eprops four blade prop uh, with the Eprops hub on here. And uh, they've got a beautiful black and blue wing that does in fact match this uh, masterpiece of a uh, uh, paint scheme. I don't know, I'm thinking this looks pretty patriotic to me, but I seem to have a thing for patriotic themes. Team Revo. Team Revo, baby, Team Revo.